Hey, this is Fizz Cannon, and I figured out how to throw an Ender Pearl further than fifty blocks. And I'm going to show you how to do it. Came to zero, zero, so you can see my coordinates. Stand in the center of this, look up, toss it. And to build it, you're going to put a trip wire hooks, and they have to be three blocks ahead, right? Because you need this little air gap or it won't register. Like if I were to stand here, throw it up, it never registers it. Oh, I made it. Look at my coordinates now. Oh, my other pearl landed. Here. One more time. Actually, you know what? I'll go with it this time so you can see it. There it goes. And this can go infinite as long as it's loaded chunks. So if you have a player on the other side, you're fine. Uh, I figured out I can go at least 300 by myself. This is 500, but that's with the assist of somebody else. So this could be useful to go possibly 600 blocks if If you're between bases, between friends, and you're both on, this would be a, a useful. Or if we ever figure out how to keep chunks loaded, other than ticking area. And the design, I put the slime block here so that when you your ender pearl smacks into this slime block, you know you're you're safe for the fall. And the rest of it is just torch torch tower. It goes 40 blocks up. I guess I'll show you on this side. 40 blocks up. And sticky piston, slime blocks, soul sand. I use buttons, you can use signs. These, this doesn't matter. This was just to show myself. I did it every 100 blocks. And I'm not going to go through the full tutorial. That That's it. That's how you do it. Thank you, Nuni for helping me load that. Catch you on the next one. Share, like, subscribe. No, comment. Comment. I like comments.